Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of Showcase on Warframe. It's here, the weapons meme tastic, the Krakata. Now, as much as, uh, as people like to make fun of the weapon, I think the meme's kind of dead now, isn't it? Anyway, moving on from that. The Krakata is a very early accessed weapon for most low ranks, as you can get match rank 5. The best way to summarize it is it's my first critical weapon. Most people will get their hands on this, and this will be the first serious critical weapon they'll get their hands on. At a glance, it looks pretty good. You got high accuracy of 28, a critical chance of 25%, multiplayer 2.4, a crazy, a crazy high fire rate of 20.0, magazine of 60, which can get the idea how quick that dissipates, reload of 2.4, and status is actually pretty high of 20%. But the damage values is where it's a bit of a hard sell. You have only 3.7 puncture, 2.9 slash, and 4.4 impact. But of course, this is uh, the first, like, truly dedicated critical weapon that you probably get most players get their hands on. Although arguably you could put into a status weapon just as easily. So it's really up to the individual how he wants to go down that road. So it's actually nice that you can go both ways. It's only lacking the base build, which is fine by most cases. Now to get your own very own Gokata, go to the marketplace. You could just turn on blueprints only, and if you don't scroll past like I did, you'll find it in the third or fourth row. Alright, and you use to build it, it's fairly cheap. What you'll need is about 25,000 credits, 2 neuros, 400 alloy plate, 900 salvage, and a 100 polymer bundle. So that's quite cheap for most players to get to master rank 5, providing they then use up all their neuros. So it's not about really getting the weapon that makes it good and everything, you gotta really have the right mods. Where other weapons in the beginning you can get by without too many mods, this weapon's completely pretty much shit without mods at all together. <laughs> But enough of that, that. Let's talk about the visual. Now visually, well, the Rakata, when you think of Grenier, you think the Rakata. It's the most pinnacle weapon for the Grenier. It looks like Grenier, it looks ugly as them, it kind of is as functional as them, and it's as dysfunctional as them. <laughs> now, the Rakata, as of the making of this video, needs a serious visual update, because it looks, well, I think I already mentioned how it looks, comparing it to the Grenier. <laughs> enough said. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Now, when you fire the weapon, you can see that it's a really a horribly high fire rate. Now, the Twin, the twin Krakatas, which I covered a year ago, has two waste to DPS because they have two of them. And this one's just one weapon you burn through ammo quickly. So quick. I like little brass specs, though. But uh, there's something else that's been bugging me. It's when you reload this weapon. You can see there, you got the magazine, some mouth thing. Calls all those bullets, it drops on the ground, and... It drops and it bounces, and it's nice, but then my character starts reaching behind themselves to grab a new one. I'm like, okay, let's see where this pops out on my ass, but wait, did you guys see that? Now, that's the funny thing. I'm going to show you again. You might miss it if you blink. Watch. Did you see it again? This is the most absurd thing ever. <laughs> it's in slow motion. The magazine just flumps around and pops right back on. <laughs> <laughs> Never really noticed that. Not until you're going to capture and actually look at it. Like, they could have easily, easily swapped around to my other hand. But enough about that, let's talk about the upgrade. Now, if you're going to go for the best version of the Krakata, you're going to want the Prisma Krakata sold by a Borgatir. When he sells it, who knows? The guy's all over the place. But otherwise, it is the definitive version of the Krakata, though you must be Master Rank 11 to use it. But you might think, okay, then it's no longer a beginner weapon, and you're right. It's not. But it's been pro properly upgraded to meet the needs of someone of Master Rank 11. Let's see, I'll show you here. As you can see, over the playing Krakata, the critical multiplier is up by 0.5, which is tremendous. Fire rate, for whatever it is, is a joke, maybe, up by about around 5%. <laughs> Magazine's been size has been doubled, which is much needed. Reload time is actually shorter at 2 seconds, stiff 2.4. Status chance for one reason or another increased by 1%. And all damage values have been increased slightly. So, with that said, making this weapon more deadly is a lot easier. Although it's leaning more on the critical end now than it was the status end. Although, with my build, I kind of did a little bit of both. That's to the best, I believe. But, in terms of what you build it with, you can still be open to either or critical or status. Next, using the weapon in the field, either version of the Rakata, well, it's actually an excellent choice for open world, or actually most maps. 
the weapon for low levels is just destroys enemies through DPS alone. It's actually quite easy to use despite the heavy recoil on it. And otherwise, it is fairly a well-rounded weapon. The only downside is you burn through ammo like crazy. But it depends how you plan to counteract that or not at all. That's all up to you. But although, either way, it's a fairly decent easy weapon to use otherwise. Now, for my ultimate build for the Prisma Krakata. Now, you can see that my bit build is quite heavy on the critical, because my critical chance is 94% and multiplayer is 7.0. That's pretty heavy there. <laughs> now, fire rate remains the same, magazine remains the same, reload remains the same, and exceeded rhythm suspicion is 3 orbs out of 5. And my status is 77%. You can see I took a bit of a dip with my di overall damage, not too terribly strong. But you can see I also threw on some viral. Now, Viral, I believe, is for the best, because this weapon, unless you want to put, well, acid or, or radiation on it to specific combat armor, and I still think it does fairly well against all, all enemy groups as this build. Is it best against armor? No, it's the least best against armor, but still gets the job done up to a reasonable level. Alright. Other than that, let's take a look at my ribbon. And you can see here why I decided to go with the critical build, where I have 128% critical chance, negative 81% weapon recoil, and plus, extra, plus almost 40% more damage to infestation. So yeah. Now, after 7 rolls, I didn't feel like rolling this anymore, and I thought, okay, this is the best it's probably going to get for me. <laughs> so yeah, the weapon recoil I saw in the beginning, it's horrendous, but at least this, this ribbon removes it for me. So you'll be seeing me use it with zero recoil. <laughs> And yeah, with that critical chance, I couldn't turn it down. Okay, let's see a test though. First, some Grenier. Got about a whole bunch of them, maybe six, yeah, 16, sure. Now, it actually starts remembering the last time I played this. Now I'm gonna turn the level back down mm, to level, I'm thinking 80, 90? 80. Yeah, 80 probably the best. Yeah, I could probably go higher, but 80 is probably the best way to show the difference. So aim for the head, quite rapid as you see. I can shoot through the enemies pretty easily. But if I aim for, say, the chest or lower end, eh, not so much. But head, best region. Uh, in terms of accuracy, the Krakata is okay. It's not excellent. It still has a bit of a heavier spread, because it's. I think the DPS has something to do about that. <laughs> but it's fairly easy to still aim at longer distances, aiming for the head region. But is it against, best against Grenier? No, but it still will kill him nonetheless. Fairly effectively, too. Now, going on to the next category, which is a corpus. I'll grab some MOAs here. About probably 20 of them. Level, though, I'm thinking... Hmm, thinking, yeah, level 100. Let's go for it. Let's go for level 100. Now, for the MOAs, they like to group together, so it's be nice and over with quick. And going through the shield can be tiresome, but it is still very quickly. Still very quick, you get through that shield quickly. But as you probably noticed, my ammo reserves are taking a serious hit doing all this. <laughs> Any of these battles, I'm turning, chewing through a third of my ammo. It's always the per pervasing problem of the Krakata. Even its twill little brothers, the twin Krakatas. Just not enough ammo. Though the Grand Krakatas were very thirsty. This one could be sated with a, a proper uh, the ammo mutation. Prime version or not. But still. That's the mutation you have to put on to fix a weapon. Which I don't like doing, because that takes away from the overall firepower. So, it takes on level 100 corpus pretty easily, providing you're not standing still and being shot at. So let's get some infestation. Let's jack your level up. Yeah, level 130. No, that'll, that'll work. Now, against level 130, <laughs> it's a hot knife through switch cheese. It does, well, mind you, my ribbon cut, cuts into heavily into this, because remember, my ribbon's plus 40% more damage. But even so, that's still, what, even without that, it still take on, like, level 110? Around there. But yes, but even so, the crowd is probably best at home fighting the infestation. Because of how close they are to you, how quick the DPS on this weapon is, and how much ammo it shoots out at a rapid rate, and not to mention armor is not exactly a pervasive thing or prevailing thing on the infestation. So overall, pretty good against infestation. And then ender numbers. Now the question is, how well will it do against a level 150 heavy gunner? Well, 
You can actually kill a Hevelover Gunner with this. Through my Viral and the Slash procs that you're inevitably forcing on the opponent. That and all the other procs. You can see that the Slash is quickly wearing an enemy down. And when I come through its second magazine and wasted a whole bunch of ammo, it actually killed it. So pretty good in that regard. Good enough. Okay, moving on to the pros and cons of the Krakata. Now going on to pros. Well, it's a pretty easy weapon to get for most new players. The weapon has an amazingly high DPS. It also has a very powerful critical build and a good status build too. And in terms of, you know, newbie use, it's fairly easy to use. But that's where the pros end. And the cons, there are still a few things to bring up. The weapon had the original version has a very short magazine of only 60 shots. The weapon goes to its ammo ridiculously fast. And you'll need lots of mods to make it comparable to use at higher levels. Or anything above level friggin' uh, I don't know, 18? <laughs> Maybe 20. But yeah. Other than that, I think that kind of covers the pros and cons regarding the Krakata. Now, going on to the score. For damage, I'm going to give that 8 out of 10. This weapon has a lot of DPS. Very high DPS. And with that critical build or status, you can definitely buff that freaking high DPS. Accuracy though, I'm going to give that 6 out of 10. It's, it's decent enough, but the spread on it's a little heavy. And met, not to mention the recoil is a bit much if you don't have any mods against that. So it definitely cuts into your accuracy. Design, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's the first critical weapon that most players will get, like first serious critical weapon. And it's been properly balanced. Not making it overpowered compared to the Soma, which does everything better that the Descrocata does. Ammo though, I'm going to give that a 3 to 10. This weapon just disregard, just respects your ammo count. <laughs> and spits it all out, and it's difficult to keep feeding. This clone is only about 6 out of 10. Why? Well, the Krakata is excellent and all, but... there's other critical weapons that do the job better, and, you know, don't have the same flaws. The Krakata is a meme-tastic weapon, yes, but is it the best weapon? Well, no, but not terrible either. So in total, I give the Krakata 30 out of 50. It's a great weapon. Great, better than I was originally expecting when I first saw it in this game. Now, when it comes to the Judgment of Krakata, this is actually a bit of a great choice. It's an excellent fun weapon at all, but so many other critic weapons do the job better. But still, I still think, yes, it is worth it. It says it calls following this weapon. Is it the best? Clearly not. There's other weapons that do critical builds much better. But this weapon also has a stood status build. And it's still fun to use and spit out so many bullets at the enemy. So I think it has decent fun value. Is it the best endgame weapon? No. Should it be used for heavy endgame? No. But still, fun to use. <laughs> and that's been Showcase for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.